So let's talk about submitting to iTunes, getting getting your podcast on iTunes, right? So you're going to go here first. This is an important feed, this one here. You're going to need this link when you go to iTunes, right? So first thing you want to do before you submit is fill out this information. So the iTunes feed ID, you don't know what it is until afterwards, right? Uh, the iTunes feed is the ID you received after you register the podcast service. So you don't know this one. iTunes summary is the information. Um, Paul Nicholson's having me philosophy podcast and put in more information put in your description of what it's all about itunes owner author is paul nicholson it's your name obviously subtitle learn your happy me philosophy from i don't know listening to mine whatever it is sub so main summary a quick headline subtitle Put in your email address so they can email you. iTunes explicit. Is there swearing in it? Is there any offensive language in it? Yes or no? This is the clean one. Epi ep episodic versus serial. So I think serials where you do um, seasons. Uh, specify serial when you want your episode presented and recommended first to last. This option. Oh, serial, yeah. So just do it first to last. If it's episodic, uh, default. Specify for standalone episodes or when you want to want your episodes presented and recommended last to first. Okay, so you want to do it first to last. If you want to do it last to first, the first one shows. Let me let's get this right. Um, presented and recommended last to first. This option also supports seasons with the newest episode at the top. Right, so this is going to be the newest first. Serial when you want your episode presented and recommended first to last. So if you want episode one, yeah, I've been to podcasts like this. If you want episode one to always be at the top, use Serial. If you're happy that the latest episode is the, the top version, leave it as episodic. iTunes block, use if they are no longer creating podcasts. So if you turn it off, turn it off. iTunes new feed URL. New, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Um, you can pres... This is basically what it's going to say. iTunes explicit. This is what it's going to show. It's not actually previewing. It's just showing you a picture of what it'll look like. Did I fill everything out? Yeah. Update options. And then we're going to go to iTunes and submit a podcast, right? So there's no actual link. Podbean, if you're watching, it'd be really cool if you just put the link here to what, to where to click. Or if I go here to this, this is how to do it. There isn't any link. So I had to... Go um, iTunes submit podcast. So Google iTunes submit podcast, right? And then go here, iTunes.apple.com in, module, blah, blah, blah. I'll put a link to that. So this is where it's a pink screen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to connect and submit my podcast, right? So I'm going to log in. Hopefully it does. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a developer on iTunes, it sometimes puts me in the wrong place. No, I'm okay. So here's, here's the place where you're going to put that feed, right? So uh, we're going to go back to here and grab this feed. This is all iTunes is asking for. It's not asking for any more information than this. So you're going to validate the feed. And it's going to pick up that information that we've put in. Uh, description, Paul Nicholson's podcast, copyright, website link. And it's picked up the episodes. And it said it's happy. So what I found is if it said you, you're not right is, and it'll come up with a red bar up here and say what well, wasn't right. Before I didn't have a big enough image and it, and it, re, it said it's going to fail. So then all you've got to do is click submit. I'm not going to submit this because I'm not going to actually put it through to iTunes. But you click submit. It'll take 24 hours, 48 hours for them to review it. And then hopefully you'll get a everything's okay. And you are then on iTunes. Cool. So hopefully that works. Um, this may be a funky place. So there's going to be links on my video to places where you can come to my forum and ask questions. Or you can ask questions on the video and I will help you out uh, by creating fixes and showing you how mine got on there. So if you get any problems at this point, leave comments, start talking to me. I will help you.